There are lots of ways to get into the help file and make use of all the wonderful information that's in there. Maybe the easiest way is just to hit the F1 key, which opens the uh, help file section that, that um, describes whatever window is currently accepting keyboard input. Uh, normally, that's just the command window. You've also got a contents tab here. You can go to any of the uh, manuals. Uh, and you've got an index, which lists everything in the program. Uh, there's, an even, there's an easier way to get into the help file, too. You just type help, um, and bingo, you're in the user's manual. And this is completely full of links, so you can click anything you want here. And um, you can see it, it gets you into all the sections of the manual that describe everything that you'd want to do. Close that down. Now let me show you something nice that um, works with the tray prompt that uh, we didn't talk about before. Let's type the DWG again. <coughs> And look down here in the tray, and here you see that the format is before. Now, any time you see something in the tray, you can hit the F2 key, and immediately goes to the help file section on that topic. You'll notice that in these tutorials, I've made frequent use of the command mode form of input. Um, I just I want to stress that the only reason I'm doing that is because it's very much faster than trying to drill down through a bunch of menus. And now some programs make you do that, um, and you can do it in Synopsys. As, as I've shown you, I can go up here to Easy Menus and Menu Tree and, and then find what I want that way. Uh, but there's an even easier way, um, which is kind of neat. Let me show you how that works. I'll get a lens out here. Get, let's say, the lens in number four. And let's suppose I want to do an analysis, so um, say a through focus MTF. Well, through focus MTF, TFM, that's pretty easy to figure out, but suppose I really don't know what, what the rest of that command looks like. Uh, looky here, I can go down here to the tray prompt, and it says, yes, indeed, that is a multi line command. And here's a hint MTM, it says. That's the name of a dialog which will run that command. It's got a bunch of boxes you can fill in for the data, so you really don't have to remember much of anything at all. So let's change that to MTM, the enter key, and now here is this convolution MTF dialog. I click execute, and there's my result.